Now, there's another thing that I wanted to share with you. And this is also a very important thing because though we have the internet, it is not always easy to find people who live after our highest values. Does that, do you understand what I mean? Like, you know, you look on the internet, maybe they're really good at making money, for example, but you're not really a money person. You, you would like to have money, but they're all about the money. And the, okay, there's some good things about that, some bad things about that. So you can be kind of ambivalent about your relationship with people who are supposed to be inspiring you, right? Maybe this person's all about the love, but they're not successful anywhere else in their life, right? And you kind of have an issue with dealing with them as a person, but they have some good qualities, right? Life is rife with, with paradoxes and dualities and difficulties understanding others. So sometimes it's hard to find people that you can bring into your life, bring into your mind that you can consistently depend on to, to raise your level. So we're going to talk about one of the biggest coaching tools that you can also use to pick out your peer group and be powerful. Are you ready? This is called the glimpse of brilliance. And it is probably the strongest tool for communication and reception of energy that you possibly can have. And what does that mean? The glimpse of brilliance is the way I coach. And that means, and it's also the way I treat patients, by the way, I communicate with patients. I don't care who you are. I don't care what you do. I don't care how you're dressed. I always look immediately for what is brilliant about you as a person or about the way you are. So I had a guy that came in uh, and this guy was, he was sick and he was horrible in his way of behaving. He was making fun of babies in the waiting room and he was rude to moms. And, you know, I thought he was going to pick a fight on the way into to my treatment room. And I had a hard time really finding the love in my heart for this person. Does it make sense? So what I did was I looked for the glimpse of brilliance. And what I realized was this guy is probably the most fantastically negative person that I've ever met in my whole life. It is amazing. Like this guy is, he's like the Einstein of negativity. This is, it's, 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 it's fascinating. I would throw him a compliment and see what he did with it. You know, I would say something interesting for me and see what he did with it. The guy was a genius. He would turn everything into an insult, everything into a reason to fight and everything into a reason to not cooperate. It was brilliant. Right. And that way I was able to keep my light tone and keep my eyes focused on something that was at my highest goals and ambitions. Because if I fell down to his level of negativity, I of course lose touch of who I wanted to be. So the glimpse of brilliance is what I, I use in order to really connect with a person so that I'm happy, joyous, and strong in my communication with them. So I can accept them as a human being because Whatever they do, it's amazing. Look at the smile on that person. Wow. There's the most beautiful teeth I've ever seen in my whole life. Or, whoa, that guy's super tall. I can't wait. Mr. Tall's in the next room, right? The glimpse of brilliance can help you sort through your internet videos, your, your transformational videos, your motivational videos and help you find the people who are exhibiting the glimpse of brilliance that you need in order for you to remind yourself of who you are. And I want you then to surround yourself with that information. So the first thing is to be inspiring to yourself. Look for that movement towards your highest self and your highest ambition. And if you can't find I've been conscious about this for a long time. So the, the closest, the people closest to me are my, my, my father and my, my wife and, and Maurits, right? And these people that I see every single day, they inspire me and they remind me of who I want to be, but I've created that environment consciously guys. So if you haven't worked this consciously, you may not necessarily have people that are holding you to your highest value. So then you have to use the glimpse of brilliance 
to steal that spark from other sources. And that's how you can go into the internet and go to motivational uh, videos and, and pick that out. Now, like I talked about, have you ever heard a video that inspired you? And then later on, you listen to the same video and it didn't inspire you. Was the video different? It wasn't different. Who was different? Right. And you're different in one of two ways. Either who you want to be has changed or the second important thing has changed. The state with which you're listening to the video. So if I'm listening, looking at something new for the first time and I'm, I'm receptive and I'm open and I want to, I want to, I want to get something from this. Do you think my ex experience of that's going to be better than if I'm kind of listening to it on the side as I'm uh, cooking dinner and having a conversation with my friend on a speakerphone? Make your moments holy. Make your moments holy. Inspiration is the spark of life. If you're going to take in something that you want to give you the juice of life, that, wants, that you want to inspire you to be the best version of yourself, shouldn't you show up as the best version of yourself that you can be in order to receive it? Yes, you should. So if you're lucky enough to have the peer group around you, they have to have an abundance of a quality that you need in order to live your highest goals and ambitions. Second, they have to be willing to tell you the truth. And the second part of that is you have to be willing to listen to what they say to you and accept it without it being a personal attack. Are you willing to listen to them? Right? Does that make sense at all? And something about them has to express a place that you want to be in the future. Now, does that mean that if I'm an athlete, that my peer group has to only be athletes? Not at all, right? Does it mean that uh, they have to be from the same country as me? Not at all. Do I have to be the same age? No. And do they have to want the same thing? No. But they have to be willing to participate in your life in a truthful way. And they have to not be interested in the outer trappings of life. Like, you know, are you, are you rich? Are you famous? Are you, you know, looking a certain way? Do you dress a certain way? But they have to be rather interested in who you are on the inside. Because who you are determines how well what you do works. Always. Like we talked about in our last webinar, the roles you play are like a glove and you're the hand. So do you fill up, those, do you fill up your role by being the best you or not?